Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts back at it again. You're right, for the first time ever on Derek Reacts. Janis Joplin, never before seen, never before heard. I have no idea of how she sings and what we're going to be seeing here. But what I do know is that this is a cover, and I will be making an exception to, uh, to this uh, song uh, from Janis Joplin um, upon doing some research. Uh, it was performed by Roger Miller. So I will do an exception from time to time. That will do happen. Um... I, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just gonna make an exception, and moving forward, that's how it's gonna be. So I will let you know before uh, I record the video and get into the reaction. There will be some exceptions, um, and in this case, my friends, this is one of them. So this is a Patreon request. Me and Bobby McGee. My God, I have no idea what this is all about. All I do know is that 1971, and we'll be taking a look at an official clip. So there you have it. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. Makes videos. Like these all more possible, and also take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. If you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch. All the more possible. Guys, if I go bananas, everything falls out of my wagon. It's going to go directly to my Spotify. Be sure to follow me there. Derek Reacts, link in the description down below. I also have great merchandise for you all. Check it out when you get a chance. Derek Reacts, not store, or custom tees, designs. Inspired by you, created by me. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. Busted flat in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train, and I was feeling near as faded as my jeans. Ooh. Bobby thumbed a diesel down just before it rained, and rode us all the way into New Orleans. I pulled my harpoon out of my dirty red bandana. I was playing soft while Bobby. Oh my god, her voice is incredible. When she walked for slapping time, I was holding Bobby's hand in my We sang every song that Javin knew. Freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing. Don't mean nothing, honey, if it ain't free. You hit the organ? feeling good was easy when he sang Oh. I love her textures, guys. They're so good. It's so good. She has like a little natural rasp there. Um, the organ comes in so nicely, how it just it just it intensifies ever so slightly, creating kind of like that blossoming effect um, to go along with the video too. Very interesting video here. Uh, how it's, it's an official video, but it seems like it's a whole bunch of clips uh, put together. Um, like they're cut out. Um, it's very, very interesting type of song. All it is is just a nice, simple guitar. I could just picture her going like that and singing along to it. I don't know if she play what she what does she play here, um, instrumentation wise. I don't have I don't really have it, but um, I mean this is the first time ever, guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me. But I just can picture her like oh, you know what I mean? It's really good. Let's continue. She's got a nice, nice voice. Me and my Bobby again. From the Kentucky coal mine to the California sun, hey Bobby shared the secrets of my soul. Through all kinds of weather, through everything we've done, your Bobby baby kept me from the whole Oh my god. Of course. Freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing. And that's all that Bobby left me. Love the rats. Love it. Feeling good was easy loud when he sang the blues. Her feeling good was good enough for me. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love her rasp. I love her tone. She's got a very good storytelling type of voice. Um, and to pair, pair it all off, it's, it just has a nice flow to it. Nice flow. Nice flow. And it's really, really good. I'm um, picking up organ, picking up piano, electric guitar, and the acoustic guitar. All of those things. And, of course, the drums. 
So there you have it. Really, really good. Really, really good. It's it's very um, it, she it's, it's it paints the picture so good, and she's like tw telling a story. I guess it's it's of it's of a Bobby McGee. Na and the, she's like the narrator, right? I guess perhaps, and she's like telling the story. Um, it's really really good and um. Uh, very very interesting how this is going to be my first reaction of her uh, and I, I i've heard that she's got many many things to come guys many things to come um and look into my god you don't even want you don't even want to know i'm pretty sure um and it did well in the charts too so there you have it let's continue let's continue good enough for me and my Bobby. There's that bass. La, 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 oh, I like that. Oh, her vibrato. <laughs> Up. Oh my god! Out the door and through the window, my friends! That did it! That did it! Most definitely! Holy crap! Talk about. She, all she's doing is the la da la da da. <laughs> the bridge, and she's taking this thing next level! Next level! with the instrumentation everything coming so nice it's a nice little how do i say it because it has a folk it has a folksy type of um appeal to it but at the same time it has a rock soul quality to it and it's very very it, it just it just feels right it's hard to explain it feels right get into it you get into it you know so 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 natural it's like the natural beauty natural beauty through the voice coming in and it and it she she's like making love to the instruments. You know what I mean? So it's hard to explain, guys. Oh, oh, oh. bananas back there. Wow. Wow. There's Oregon. Everything starts going bananas. Oh my god. Oh. I have to see more of her. I gotta see more of her because um, I'm gonna tell you something. I think the next reaction has to be live. The next reaction has to be live. If she doesn't have this one live, I'll be a little sad. I'll be a little sad. Um, because I think this came out after she passed away. Is that true? I don't know. I read that somewhere. But um, it was released. Uh, second post, post dominantly uh, released number one single in the chart. Uh, after sitting on the deck of the bay, and let me tell you something, if there is a archived, or if you guys have a, a live performance of her singing this live, this must be great. The instrumentation, the guy, or, or woman behind there, playing piano, is going bananas. All the keys, the organ, everything like that, is going bananas, and even the strings too, with the electric guitar and the bass, everything. Especially, specifically there in the end, um, it just goes, it goes, in the, I can picture her Going like this, right in the beginning with the guitar strings, um, the acoustic guitar. I don't know why I keep saying like she's playing the acoustic guitar. Then out of nowhere, she tosses it to the side and she starts going nuts on the microphone. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure she doesn't just throw it, but you know what I mean. Like She just, she just has kind of like that energy behind her voice. Um, and, and it's just so good. It's so good. Uh, written by um, song, uh, singer and songwriter Chris Christopherson. 
and originally performed by Roger Miller. Fred Foster shares the writing credit. Um, and it was released in 1971. Um, and uh, Jerry Lee Lewis also released a version reaching number one, by the way, in 1971. So I might have to check that one out. So lots of covers, lots of covers. Um, and it ranked as number 11 for 1971 for, um, for, uh, for Janis Jopson's version. So there you have it. But it actually topped number one in the, in the U.S. And other recordings of this song, apparently, because it's, I guess it's well-known. It's a well-known song. Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, uh, Willie Nelson, Grateful Dead, Loretta Lynn, um, Kenny Rogers, a lot of country artists here, Gordon Lightfoot, another country artist, Dolly Parton, Olivia Newton-John, and Johnny Cash. So there's a lot of covers, a lot of covers, guys. Uh, <laughs> thank a patron of Scar for, for tell, telling me to do this one. Um, and this, this overall meaning of this is the story of two drifters, the narrator Bobby McGee, the pair hitch a ride from a truck driver and sing as they drive through the American South. They visit California, then part ways, with the song's narrator expressing sadness afterwards due to the singer's name never being mentioned and the name Bobby being the gender neutral, especially in America. The song has been recorded by both male and female singers with only a minor difference in lyrical content. So there's that. Um, she included in her pair album a few days before her death, 1970. So there's that. Uh, Christopherson had sung the, the song for her, and the singer Bob Newarth uh, taught it to her. Uh, but uh, Christopherson did not know that she had recorded it until her death. Look at that. The first time uh, he, uh, he heard the recording of it uh, was the day after she died. Isn't that crazy? Um, John Foster's version topped the charts to become the, her only number one single in 2004. Uh, 2004, wow. Her version of the song was ranked number 148 on Rolling Stone's list of 500 greatest songs of all time. That's pretty big, guys, to be on that. It's pretty, pretty big. So there you have it. Um, how, did it how did it do on the charts elsewhere? Billboard Hot 100, uh, 40. Uh, Easy Listening, 39. Cash Top Box, uh, 63. Australia, 1. Canada, 6. New Zealand, 10. Um, where else did it go? Canada, 50 on, from 1971 to 1972. And uh, it just went up, up and up, guys, everywhere, everywhere. So there you have it. Lyrics are really, really good. The bridge is what did me in. Bridge is what did me in. I like the chorus, but that bridge was very, very special, you know? And all she's doing is just, she's la da la da la da da <laughs> that's, all, that's all it is. And it's really, really good. Very, very soulful approach and um, interesting take on this song. Um, I don't know how the original one sounds like, but... Uh, it is is um Roger Miller country? Is he country? So it might be it might be originally a country song. I don't know. You guys tell me down below. Well, would love to hear what we have to say about this one. Until next time, for more videos like these guys, take care. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all of the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys. Take care. Love you guys. Peace.